sometimes it feels like a waste of time taking the time to recalibrate between varieties and seed lots. But there certainly are benefits in terms of achieving uh, the desired seeding rate that you've decided is appropriate for your individual field conditions. And there can be other benefits as well. In this particular situation, a grower had seeded one uh, field of canola, switched to wheat, and was now switching back to canola. Uh, the thousand seed weight on the variety they were growing this time was four and a half grams versus 3.7 grams per thousand seeds on the previous seed lot. So the grower thought it was a good idea to uh, double check that the same uh, metering sprocket on, on the machine would deliver an appropriate uh, seeding rate for this variety. With this particular unit, you calibrate by cranking this crank, the prescribed number of turns. In this case, the grower went with the number of turns for a half an acre, 71 and a quarter. You slide this box underneath to catch the seed as it falls, and then you weigh the seed that goes in here and multiply by two. What he discovered when he pulled out the box was that it was well over half full. Uh, that, of course, raised some questions. Further investigation revealed that in the haste of seeding, they'd neglected to switch the pin from the direct drive to the slow speed drive on, on, the, on the seed box. Seed that 100 foot stretch, collecting seed as it comes out of the hose above the opener. Combine the collected seed and weigh it. If you have 18.75 grams of seed on five runs and your row spacing is nine inches, fill in the formula and you get five pounds per acre. Taking the time to double check that calibration saved this particular grower uh, a real mess on the first few acres in terms of an excessively high seeding rate uh, and a trip back to town for another 10 bags of seed to finish the field at a cost of about 685 a pound. Slowing down doesn't just mean slowing down in the field uh, with the seeding operation. It also means slowing down to take the time to double check those calibrations, your seed depth, etc. as you move from field to field. And in the long run that can really pay off as it did in this particular situation.